Hi, my name's Joe. Uh, as a kid, I loved the show Robot Wars. I loved the idea of robot destruction and combat. Um, when I was at university, I, I joined the committee for my electronic engineering society, and we needed new events. We needed something fun to do. So uh, I looked online and I discovered this thing called Outweight Robot Wars. It's robots that are 150 grams in the UK, so super small, super light, super cheap, uh, which is great for students. So we started running an event. And I um, decided I wanted to be the host, so I would commentate uh, and uh, yell and get people hyped for our battles because we wanted it to be a show like the TV show. Uh, and after a while, I decided I needed to build my own bots to really understand what people are putting their blood, sweat and tears into. So in uh, the fourth event, I stopped commentating and I made this bot here, Little Prick. Uh, with no real understanding of electronics, I didn't understand the voltage ratings, uh, that you shouldn't go over them. Well, it started smoking and it didn't really work. But uh, I really wanted to get good at building bots, so the next one I put a lot more effort into the design and to looking into parts. So I designed this robot here called Crabsolutely Clawful. I do like puns. But let's talk about the parts involved in this robot. A speed controller called the Nano 2 speed controller by a guy called Rory of Team Nut. He makes this amazing kit. It's about £40, quite a bit of money, but it's really quite worth the money. It's uh, a speed controller with two motors already attached, with two wheels made by Alex with these really good grippy tyres as well. A Lemon RX receiver, so it's a really good kit. I really recommend it for a, an effective and weight robot. And uh, the most important thing was a servo. I wanted a high torque servo because, well, it's not going to crush anything, but at least I want to grab properly so um, I went with this uh, Altern low profile servo just because it gave me more space for the innards. So with Antweight you're only allowed a four inch cube amounts of space uh, so I designed it so that most of the body was quite uh, short so that there's a lot of length to fit in a wide amount of claws space um, and uh, the claw mechanism is basically the servo horn uh, rotates and uh, it pulls um, these two kind of metal wires um, that open and close the claws. Here's some footage of uh, the bottom battles. You can kind of see uh, it's got quite a decent amount of pushing power thanks to those great grippy tyres, but the weapon isn't particularly an effective weapon, it's more just a bit of fun. But yeah, this is my first uh, proper Antway bot, um, and it's been to two events and it's still kind of going. It's got a couple of cracks, but it's ready to go for another event. And I've built a few more bots that I'm keen to talk about, so uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I'm happy to do some more videos in this format. Cheers!